speaker is the chairman at Bharat Web3 Association. Mr. Dilip Shenoy comes with a wealth of experience and expertise. He brings to the forefront a deep understanding of the transformative potentials of the Web3 technologies. As a visionary leader, his insights are invaluable in navigating the dynamics of the Web3 sector within the Indian context. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Dilip Shenoy. We are honored to have you here today and we eagerly await the knowledge and inspiration you are about to impart upon us. Give a huge round of, give a huge round of applause everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you and good afternoon. I think according to the timer, I've got only one minute and zero nine seconds left. So I've got to you know, really speed up my presentation. But I hope all of you guys are awake and listening. So, um, you know, I'm very grateful that you had the sandbox presentation uh, before my presentation. Because a lot of people uh, look at Web3 as equivalent to crypto, equivalent to blockchain. So what I'm trying to actually do in the 19 odd minutes that are left is to talk about the current state of the Web3 ecosystem in India and how we at the BWA uh, see it uh, going forward. So this is a kind of a picture or a diagram I took from Arthur D. Little, which is very interesting. So if you look at the two axes, this is like sense of immersion. So at the top end is what you saw, sandbox, uh, right? And then at the end you saw, at the bottom is decentralization. And along these two axes, right, you have the world open to you to develop products and services in the light blue space, which is actually moving out of the Web 2 space and going into the Web 3 space. Using Web3 technology, you have the opportunity to disrupt Web2. For example, if you take Uber, right? There is a startup in Bangalore which is challenging Uber uh, using Web3 technology. And she is actually connecting the driver and the user directly and not, you know, and the payments are made directly bypassing the whole Uber. This is just a kind of example. So this is the opportunity that Web3 had many different uh, types of presentations in Web3. I thought this is one way to talk about it. Now if you look at uh, it, you know, a lot of people, and we've used the term machine learning here, which is, not, which is actually artificial intelligence, right? Um, and using distributed ladder technology, which is blockchain, but there are multiple DLTs here, as, as all of you know. And we are looking at different applications, and CBDC is at one end, right? Governance, uh, public record keeping, healthcare, industry insurance, right? And banking. Now, very interestingly, we had 30 billion funding in the blockchain and cryptocurrency market in 2021. So, all of you will be talking about a bear system now. So, which is the, you know, if you look at emerging technology funds, which is the largest sector that these funds are investing in? Any guesses? Sorry? Okay, it's artificial intelligence is one, right? If you actually look at the EDI report, right, the largest chunk of funding in the last six quarters has actually gone to Web3. More than e-commerce, more than anything else, right? Um, it's surprising. And a lot of them, and I think this was actually mentioned, I think, by Raj and by Ajit when they were talking, they are actually funding technology products that have the opportunity to transform the world. You've seen uh, 15x funding, not happening this quarter, but you're still seeing there. But you've looked at a uh, whole lot of money coming into the sector, and the top 10 global VC funds were investing, not all of them investing 
so aggressively because the startup investment has actually declined across all sectors. This is another interesting thing which I want to leave you with, right? If you see the small boxes here, right? Each of these small boxes is actually an opportunity for you to develop products and services, right? Many of you are working in these spaces, but many of these boxes are there. For example, you heard about Sandbox, right? Okay. Uh, he talked about uh, Hangama, you know, T series, all these studios being there. How about looking, you guys creating something using Indian comics, Indian stories, Indian stuff coming, you know, develop it and actually work on that. So there are different, different actually things here. And many of these boxes you've had people presenting, but many of these boxes are a lot of opportunity for you uh, going forward. So if you look at what is happening here, distributed or decentralized finance, what do you look at it? A lot is happening in India, but more can happen at the state level, at the national level, at the corporate level. Uh, yesterday I was actually uh, talking at, a, at one of the other panels and I talked about you know, a state government wants to use DeFi to transfer bene benefits to the beneficiaries going beyond DBT, right? Imagine how many state government programs are there and what it could be done at the national level. So that's something which is actually happening, okay? We are looking at global convergence. Yesterday, you heard two of the speakers, and you heard one speaker this morning talk about the efforts at G20 and how we are looking at uh, creating uh, a global regulation for this space. Uh, the sustainability uh, practices, you had demonstration here of some sustainability. You also were, talked about the wind farm developed by Siemens being made into a digital twin. Uh, right, so how do you actually look at sustainability in a different way? And privacy and security are two aspects here. And the decentralization and ensuring data privacy in a decentralized uh, you know, environment, a lot of people have talked about. And of course, assets are going to be tokenized. For example, you know, uh, Telangana is looking at tokenization of land, right? There is a company in India which is tokenizing ships. Okay, so you have an asset, how do you tokenize it? You need the regulatory challenges, there's something to be done, but they are solvable. So these five drivers will actually drive the next phase of the internet, which will give you an opportunity to use your engineering talents to, you know, to discuss and you know, to develop products for Indian consumers. Now, if you look at the startup scene in India, and this was a NASCOM report of last year, and I've been going around and meeting a lot of people, and I believe that this 450 plus startups may have raised funding. This is a grossly underreported figure. I think the figure is like 3x this. The funding is, is, is different in terms of that because, uh, you know, uh, they've not been able to reach out a lot of new 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 startups right tier 2 tier 3 cities are emerging and with uh, raj's help you know a state like goa would actually emerge as you know he said the web 3 capital of the world but you have 75k current tech talent this is not adequate three four speakers have talked about it a lot of institutional investors again this number is underreported these are the large numbers and I think we are seeing a lot of business models coming up in this space. So there was a lot of discussion on different types of coins and you know different aspects. But you're seeing this is really the NASCOM report which, which talked about the emergence of this sector. Now what are these companies doing, right? So if I had to look at the thing, there are, you know, everyone talked about analytics and artificial intelligence, actually 60 plus are already doing big data and analytics in this space, 
right? And if you have a project or something that is using blockchain or using a distributed ledger technology, using something without machine learning and artificial intelligence, the one thing you got to do is to actually see how you can incorporate it in your model uh, going forward. I think there's IoT and blockchain integration to capture a lot of data in the smart contracts. And you, of course, have the auditing companies. They're all presented here. And a lot of companies are on blockchain. Again, if you look at uh, this thing, but interestingly, 50 plus startups are looking at AR and VR. OK? Now, Europe has talked about the integration of AR and VR into the uh, Web3 as Web4. OK? But uh, we are taking it as a part of, of uh, Web3. So there are a lot of interesting uh, applications here. Now, if you look at this chart, and I think in the morning you saw a chart very similar to this, which was not uh, like, uh, we just had the arrows and you know all of that. Again, this is an ADL uh, chart, which talks about what's going to happen in the future, right? And if I were to look at some specific things, immersive spaces, collaboration platforms, social experiences, right? And tokenization, okay? They are regulation agnostic. So there is nothing preventing you or preventing this segment to go to India. There's no, there's no as long as you take up data privacy and you take care of that, there's absolutely not there, it is, you know. And the whole thing is India produces the largest number of films, you have the largest number of songs, and during COVID, right, for example, you know, I don't know how many of you did put, you know, notice that during COVID, you could learn dances online, you could learn cooking online, you could learn music online, you could learn coding online, uh, you could learn anything that could be taught online, right? And there were a whole lot of creator. This whole NFT and the, cre the creator economy, right, is another space where we believe that India has the opportunity uh, going forward. So, you know, Ajit was talking about bear and bull markets, right? I don't want to talk about a bear and bull market, but if you're looking at the Web3 sector, is it a bear sector or a bull sector? It is a bull sector. It's got huge growth ahead of it, right? Uh, you may not, you know, if you were talking about multiple X revenues, but if you're a company and you want to start a company, if you're an investor, it's a different thing. But if you want to start a company, you have the world in front of you going ahead. So what are they saying about this? So if you look at India itself, what, what's actually happening here, right? A lot of the automotive companies uh, had a kind of a immersive experience in Auto Expo. Some of the showrooms are coming up and you know, you could actually now build products for dealerships, build products for other entities here, for petrol pumps, for garages. If you go there, millions of opportunities in India. There is a Apollo Hospital uh, and a health immersive thing. If you increase it to wellness, if you look at Ayurveda, if you look at other things, that's a wholly untapped phenomena in this space. Of course, using blockchain, you know, there's the Telangana Women Child Welfare Ledger. There's a there's an integrated child development service which is looking at uh, you know reaching out to women. There are land records uh, in in. Uh, in Gacharoli, there are caste certificates in Gacharoli. There are other, there's a death and birth certificates in West Bengal. So different states are doing something and Raj is also you know, advising many other governments in this uh, space. You have NFT application in West Bengal, right? Um, so, and the whole NFT application in gaming is a different thing. So what is interesting about this chart is if one state is doing it, you can replicate it in another state. You can take this program and do it in another state going forward. Now, there are different charts here. This is a chart which we talk about uh, what is the future uh, going forward, okay? 
So currently, it's around 6 billion, right? Okay, I don't know whether Ajit will say this is like 10x, 20x, 30x, this 30x uh, kind of growth in the next uh, 10 years. And, you know, India is already the fourth largest user in the Web3 space. Although it is focused at one particular aspect, but others are there. India is going to have a mobile first Web3 immersion market. Okay, if you're looking at every, you know, more people have mobiles than computers. So if you are looking at a product to development here, how does it look at, on a mobile, right? And if you look at the number of web users and number of growth of the Web3 is very, very similar. But again, web users are also are mobile first. So obviously here, you will have mobile first, okay? If you look at the different sectors that we are talking about, all right? So you have retail, finance, uh, energy, which is also sustainability, uh, automotive, you heard the media thing, telecom, healthcare. And if you add tokenization into this, then these figures significantly change because if you can tokenize land, if you can tokenize art, if you can tokenize other aspects here, this will significantly change and the number could go up to a few trillion, 1.1 uh, or 1.2 trillion dollars. So ADL, when they were looking at this, did not look at that. But you have the opportunity of looking. And what is interesting, if I look at blockchain, if I look at artificial intelligence, and if I look at Web3, one thing is very, very common, right? And that is this figure. Each one of these sectors is expected to grow at over 40% CAGR over the next few years. And that is the opportunity that you have in this space. Like I said, I showed this slide earlier, okay? We believe that there will be greater investor uh, confidence going forward. There is existing investor conference, confidence in the, in the ecosystem for well thought out projects. The demography is with India. I think availability of talent pool, digital penetration and growing digital adoption I talked about. What uh, we are trying to do uh, in BWA is actually you know, get away from this DDS mentality. So can anybody tell me what this DDS mentality is? So it's the Dubai, Delaware, Singapore mentality, right? You know, look, you know, I believe that instead of taking the easy way out or going and, you know, saying that we'll get better global customers if you're located in Singapore, uh, we'll get better funding if you're in Delaware, or we can do a lot of things in Dubai. How do we look at it in making it you know, Delhi, Daman, or you know, or any other Surat or whatever you want to say, and say how can we locate it here? So we want to at BWA we want to push public-private partnership, take the development of the Web3 space and make India the Web3 capital of the world. And that is what we are actually trying to do uh, going forward. We are also trying to spread awareness. You know, one of the biggest things that we all collectively need to do is to do a collective education of the customer, which we are failing to do. And in, you know, in, in groups like this, we make fun of, you know, a lot of things what is happening, whether it is, a, you know, X coin or Y coin or this, but we are not going out there as a body. So what happened in the mutual fund industry? 90% of Amphi's revenue is actually projecting to educate the customer. NSC and BSC educate the customer. So we were talking about customer and developing uh, talent, right? And how do we, you know, make it simple? Today, a lot, there was a lot of talk even in the last session, last panel discussion, that it's not very easy for the user to use the thing. How do you make it easy for the user? How do you make it easy for the government to actually understand the space. 
what can a junior officer go and tell the senior officer of what can happen? What can the law enforcement, how do we help the law enforcement entity going forward? So these are something what we are trying at BWA to do. It's educate, collaborate and promote. We're looking for partners. We're looking you to join these 16 companies. These 16 companies have actually paid a amount to get into that for startups and all. It's it's not free as an Indian blockchain alliance. We, ch we charge something which you will spend, uh, you know, on traveling uh, in, to any location. But we're looking at uh, getting partners to unblock India's uh, potential in this space and create champion companies out of India. So that's the presentation I had for you. I have 32 seconds left, so if anybody wants to ask a question, I'd be happy to answer. Okay. The top three things which are bothering the government in this space. First one is money laundering and terrorist financing. The second one is dollarization of the economy which is that you know you won't be able to you know uh, you're spending rupees to get dollars and the third thing is that if you put all of this in and it's all based on cryptocurrency it's all based on virtual digital assets it's not based at this whole element of the web3 uh, going forward and we are trying to address that and we hope to have a regulation in place if any of you want a regulation to be addressed like for example the Telangana sandbox if you're looking at things health records land records and we need to address regulation we are working on that and happy to help you going forward even if you're not a member of PW and hope after we solve your problem you will consider yeah you have a question so you've been very active yesterday also you so my question here is that uh, you see that all the members I saw, probably people who got associated, are all uh, private companies who have got interest in terms of money. Of course, they are pro providing a solution. Now, where do you bring in uh, people with social interest or people who are basically thinking for uh, society uh, on the table so that they can probably you know vet the ideas or whatever you're discussing? from a common perspective, you know, uh, so that it favors the overall population and it is not merely driven by the economics or uh, by a very narrowed vision. Yeah, so, so your question, your first words actually talked about, you know, you heard that famous song, no, Raj Kapoor song, right, sorry. Yeah, Juta hai Japani, Lal Topi, Rusi, English, Patloon English Stani, but Dil hai Hindustani, okay. Now not only you want the dil to be Hindustani, but you want the juta, topi and patloon, right, to be Hindustani, right. So what we are doing, you know, if, you're, if you're an individual and you want to contribute, we have a fellow program, okay. We can easily uh, actually work uh, on that uh, going forward. And uh, a lot of it, we are creating a legal fellow, we are creating a, you know, other things are there, okay. Um, so I think my board is saying time up, I've spent two minutes extra. But again, thank you all for being a great uh, audience and I'm available uh, for any questions or answers. Otherwise, I look forward to your collectively working to strengthen the Web3 ecosystem in the country. Thank you very much.